What is up everybody? My name is Cameron and welcome back to the channel. So it's too windy to be out here fishing. It's blowing like 20 right now, but we decided to come out here and actually do a little bit of hunting for stone crabs. And I say hunting for them because we're not putting out bait, nothing like that. Instead, we're gonna be walking along the oyster, along the rocks and all that stuff and digging under these holes and trying to pull out some big old stone crabs to hopefully take home and cook up for you guys. We got some gloves. So basically just like you would whenever you're catfish noodling, we're gonna be reaching our hands way up in those holes and trying to pull them out without losing a finger that's the goal for today not to lose a finger so we got super low tides right now and that's exactly what you want everything's exposed the oyster beds are exposed and we should be able to find out where these crabs are living y'all stick with it stay tuned let's go out here and see if we can find some big old texas stone crabs to cook up for you guys okay so here's the name of the game y'all check out all this oyster right here you can see it everywhere out here we're just at the base of it all we're doing is looking for these holes like this right here in that hole under the oyster. Now, while that's probably not a keeper, let's go ahead and try to catch him and get him out for you guys. Flip him out. Stone crab. So, this is not a keeper. This one's just undersized, probably half an inch to three fourths of an inch under. But that's what we're looking for. Yeah, you can check out this one right there. I'm double gloved up on this side so I can reach in there and not get my finger pinched off. But this is what we're looking for. But we're just looking for their older brother. So, we're going to go ahead and get it Honestly, this guy does not look like a keeper. No, he's a little short. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave him. He's pretty tough to get out of there. And I don't know if you can see him down in here, but that claw is definitely not two and a half inches. Their right claw is the only one you can take in Texas. It has to be two and a half inches. And that's, that's once again, just one and a half to two. Look at this one, guys. Found this big old hole right here. You can see this ledge up on it where it's been digging out the mud. Knew it was gonna be a big one. Y'all check that out. That is a big old keeper stone crab. Easy. He's already missing a claw, so although in Texas you're only allowed to keep one claw, you are in fact allowed to keep the right claw. So we could technically harvest this guy, but we're gonna go ahead and let him go because we don't want to leave him offensive. So let's get really back in the corner. So we got ourselves a keeper right here, just dug him out of this hole. We decided that we needed to split up. So Caleb, who's behind the camera right now, went looking over there. I went looking over here because that tide's coming in, sun setting, and we forgot our flashlights at the truck. So we decided to cover some more ground, and there we go. Just pull this guy out of this big old hole right here. We're gonna take that claw. That is a over two and a half inch claw. So all we're gonna do is take his cutter. Try to take his cutter. He has a short little cutter on him. We'll put it down in the soft little knuckle tissue. See if we can find it. So you can either use your cutter or we actually we actually found this really nice knife over here. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna run it down right in that soft point on his claw. Oh, look at that. Look how strong they are. At that. He's got our knife. We gotta fight with these things and get them back. Okay, but boom. You rub it down in the soft point of the claw. Just like that. Move it around. And he's gonna think that claw's injured. And he's gonna drop it just like that. Release the crab healthy. And we're selling a nice legal stone crab claw. But for the past few videos, I've been saying I'm doing a Cameron's Crappy Treasure Chest giveaway on the channel. So we're going to be adding this knife in there. Although it looks like crap, this is one of those really nice ones where you change out the razor blades on them. Uh, a game winner or whatever they're called. So we're gonna, I'm going to wash this thing up, get it nice and clean up for you guys, and then you'll have a good knife and all you got to do is buy a set of blades. That's like a $40, $50 knife right there. Into our bucket. Let's go find some more. What I've noticed is, you have to take a look right here. You see all the broken show outside of the hole? That's a good indication that that's a good crab one. There's one in there. That's what I've noticed just from the past hour or whatever looking for him. So, let's see if there's one in there. Well, we just got done walking through all that marshy stuff. We had to come back to the truck. It is completely dark out here. And uh, like I said earlier, we didn't have our flashlights. It got kind of sketchy. We were sinking in mud. You can check me out. Look how covered I am. My pants are a whole nother color. Completely covered in mud. My knee pad got ripped up real bad by the oyster. My whole body's covered in mud. But, look at this nice bucket of stone crab claws. I think we got about six, seven or eight of them somewhere around there. If we had some more time before it got dark, we could have saw some more holes and got in there, but got completely dark on us. We couldn't see where any of the holes were and we got trapped out there, like I said. So we made our way back to the truck, but we are not done. We have another little place over here with the harder bottom, a lot easier to walk on and a lot easier to find those stone crabs. So we're gonna take a little break and get a Gatorade going and then we're gonna head over there and look for some more. But hey, look at this. I mean, this is a dirty job right here. Where's Mike Rowe at when you need him? 
Let's go ahead and get a drink going and then head over there. Try to find some more because the night's still young. Get over in the water and there's a monster one right there. We're gonna get before he goes in his hole. Oh boy, don't get me. Oh, and these things are strong. Look at that. That is tied for our biggest claw yet. I think that's pretty dang close to the other one, maybe bigger. That's a monster stone crab right there. I'm glad we didn't have to noodle this one out of his hole because that would have hurt to get pinched by that guy. Let's go ahead and pop his claw off. You don't even gotta measure this guy. Man, they're so strong when they get big. Move it around until he pops it. Boom. Perfect break, clean break. He still has his knuckle, no meat hanging out. That means that crab's gonna go on and live a good life. Let him go, he'll regrow that claw. Look at that. The size of your hand. Man. Let's go find some more. Well, we just got out of our second spot over here and y'all check it out. It is our whole mess of crabs tonight. We got some absolutely massive stone crab claws right here. And even like these, these are perfectly legal, legal crabs over two and a half inches, but look at the size comparison. It's crazy how big these things get. Imagine that getting your finger like that, breaking your finger right in half. But we ended up with a nice amount of them right there. Nothing crazy. I know I've seen videos of people out here filling up buckets of them, but hey, for only our second time crabbing and we end up with like, I think that's around 10 claws, lots of fun. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna do a little bit of blue crabbing just so we can get a little bit more meat in the cooler. And then we're gonna head back to the house and we'll be cooking these up for y'all and showing you how we're gonna prepare them. So y'all stay tuned. And I'll see y'all back at the house tomorrow morning. Well, we're back at the house now and y'all check out these massive stone crab claws right here. This one is legit as big as my hand. That's our biggest find of the night and we got three that same size. So, And then we have a bunch of these little ones right here. Like I said, I think we end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven nice stone crab claws here. Let's go ahead and cook them up. I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do it. Okay, we got our water boiling right here and we don't have any seasoning or anything in it for these stone crabs. All we have is a little bit of salt. And that's gonna be perfect. Those stone crabs have a plunger flavor. They're super tasty. So we don't need to try to cover them up in any of that crab oil. So we're gonna go ahead and drop them in here. Okay, these stone crab claws are pretty much done here. They've been going for about eight to 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out and we're gonna dump them straight in this bowl of ice water. And the reason we do that is to immediately stop the cooking process. It's gonna lock in all that flavor. So nice claw there, dump them straight in. That's gonna be delicious. Okay, we're getting them all out right here. Y'all check out the color of these things. A beautiful, bright red. Absolutely amazing. We got the crabs out of that nice cold water. They're nice and cooled down. And I just can't get over these things. Look how cool they look. Super red colored, nice and vibrant, and just massive. I'm so excited to try these out. Let's go ahead and taste test them. Y'all check out this crab claw right here. Look how thick the shell is. It's insane. Kind of tricky to peel, but there we go. Got these. Got a bunch of them on the plate, some warm butter in the middle. It gets no better than this. Dip it in there. Let's give it a taste. I'm excited, y'all. I can't wait. My goodness. That is like blue crabs on steroids. Super sweet, super flavorful all around. That is absolutely delicious. That might be my new favorite thing. I think I might be hooked on stone crabbing. Besides walking through the mud, getting cut up by razor sharp oysters and reaching your hand through a hole and hoping you don't lose a finger. Hey, it's all worth it for this. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. If you are, like always, guys, I thank you so very much. We're going to continue to eat all these things. We've got a bunch of big ones to dive into. And I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, peace.